thanks to we PlayStation and Angry Birds, you'd be forgiven for thinking children no longer play with toys that don't plug in or boot up. But at an expo in Sydney, computer-powered toys have become a thing of the past. It's every kid's idea of heaven. How are you finding the Lego fit? It's really fun because I like making stuff. And some slightly older ones too. Rob McGowan's Lego obsession began as a five-year-old and he never quite grew out of it. You can touch it and you can feel it and it's, a, it's very satisfying pushing two pieces together. It, it, it does something inside you that makes, I've, I've, I've built that, I've constructed that, um, which you can't get necessarily with, you know, blasting an alien on a, on a video game. But while there are no video games here, it doesn't stop you from unleashing your wild side. This isn't just fun and games, there's some serious strategy involved, either as a team or every man, woman and child for themselves. <laughs> Toys are big business in Australia, with sales topping $3 billion per annum. Tim Rodiger sees the value in board games. His recent creation, Dweebies, was named Board Game of the Year. Certainly there is all sorts of learning outcomes, a bit of math, a lot of social skills in terms of taking turns and and coping with when you lose um, and also being a good winner. For Expo organiser Charles Bishop, board games have kept his family intact. Six years ago, his son Josh suffered a severe spinal injury and to keep him entertained during a long recovery period, they'd play board games. Life's pretty serious. There's a lot of things that can happen to you in life and my son's example is just one. My family's had a few rough, rough things happen to us over the years. But if you can make it simple, if you can just go back to the play... And have fun. Sohail Damuni, World News Australia.